Hello, hello, and welcome to Shape It Up Over 40. If you are watching this on a video, you are seeing me with my glasses on. <laughs> and if you're listening, I have to wear my reading glasses more often now, so here it is. Anyway, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Today, I am gonna be talking about why I'm not losing weight even when I'm eating healthy. Not me, you, <laughs> right? Um, we're going to be diving into that, but before we do, I have a new review of the shape it up over 40 podcast. So five stars, she says fresh perspective on weight loss for women after decades of being told to eat less and move more. Nicole uncovers what women actually need to do to lose their weight and love their journey. Thank you. And this is coming from, and I'm sorry, I'm probably going to mess up your name, but it's Tanja. Shaw. So, and you're from Canada. Thank you so much for leaving a review. I greatly appreciate any reviews and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to write a review for the podcast. Every time you write a review, a written review, it helps the podcast bump up in its, um, in the charts, which means this podcast gets to be broadcast in more places and help more women who are struggling with dieters mentality, who are struggling with just the whole process of losing weight. Um, it, I, I really, that is the, the drive behind this podcast. I want this podcast to be worldwide, which it is, but I wanted to reach those women who just are struggling. You're just so frustrated with what is going on and not seeing the results that you want. So this topic is perfect segue for that review. So why are you not losing weight even when you're eating healthy? So the weight loss industry has really failed us. It has failed you. It has failed me. Even as a professional in it, um, there, don't get me wrong. There are beautiful aspects of the fitness industry and the weight loss industry, but it's very complicated and it doesn't need to be that way. So you have been told you need to eat healthy, right? And all the weight will come off. Just eat healthy and, and all the weight will disappear. You need um, to restrict fruit, food. That's what you've been told. That you need to pass on all your favorite foods forever, as in give them up permanently. And women who come to work with me think that they are doing all the quote unquote right things, eating healthy, et cetera, right? Doing the workouts, all the stuff, but the weight is still there. And in some cases, the weight is increasing, right? So women that come to me, their weight is either steadily going up or they've gained a lot of weight and they're kind of like stuck, like it's not going anywhere. So what is up with that? What's going on? So here's the bottom line. To lose weight, you need to eat a little less than what your body needs in order to do all the activities that you're doing. Now, before you go running off to find some low calorie diet or before, before you pull out the food logging app or you come back at me saying, I am eating less, here's the rub. We women tend to look at isolated incidents instead of big picture. I get told, you know, I had that piece of bread this weekend and that is what put me over. I sat and watched a movie yesterday and didn't do anything. That's what messed me up. That piece of bread or that movie is not what did it. You have to look big picture. What I find is that you think you are eating healthy and maybe you are, maybe you're picking healthier foods, but you're still eating more than your body is using in energy. Again, before you go running off to go torture yourself on the treadmill for hours and hours, I want to tell you there is a huge step right before all this all the food, all the movement. It's your mindset. It's the way you think. It's how you're thinking about food. Are you enjoying what you're eating? What is going on between your ears about this whole weight loss process? I used to teach the whole calories in versus calories out, but that is dieters mentality. And that approach will always leave you in this lose some gain some cycle. And on top of all that, you are going to be hating the process because you are so frustrated because you think you are eating what you think you should be eating. I get it. I was there too. 
I would weigh and food log and eat all the healthy foods, which does work. Don't get me wrong, but I was miserable doing it. It's not how I want to live my life. Clients who come to me don't want to be weighing their food every time they eat. They don't want to have to prep all their food and have it pre-managed so they have it all laid out. They want some flexibility in their life. They want to be able to go to a restaurant and choose their food. What made me miserable was when, um, like when I wanted to eat something else and I quote unquote couldn't because it either didn't fit into my food log or it wasn't considered healthy or whatever. Or if we were going out to eat in a restaurant, I couldn't just, well, I could have, but I'm not going to, I could have brought my kitchen scale with me and I, and I guessed at food logging, but again, that's, that's like torture in my mind. I want to go out and just eat, right? I don't want to have all this mind drama going on and Please tell me if you can relate, you know, before you go out to the restaurant, your head is spinning like, oh, I should, I should be looking at the skinny side of the menu or, well, I had this earlier and maybe, and I shouldn't have this. Today. It's so much mind drama. You don't need the mind drama. This is, I teach my clients, there's a, a freedom around food of what I, I teach them. So you can still overeat on healthy foods. Here are the three reasons why you aren't losing weight. Number one, you are not eating for your lifestyle. You need to find a way that fuels your body and you enjoy it. If you are not fueling your body, you're not going to sustain whatever it is you're trying to do, period. Number two, you're not moving your body in a way that supports how you're fueling your body. Number three, and this is the biggest part. It's the mind drama. You have so much mind drama about the weight loss process, questioning, second guessing what you're doing. This is where having an expert like myself guiding you is extremely helpful. When I work with clients, we do go into the action steps, right? You get workouts from me. We talk about food. We talk about nutrition. But honestly, we're not talking about food logging or anything like that. I have one rule that I give my clients about food. All the rest is mind drama around food. But we can't touch those action steps until we figure out what it is you're thinking about the food and the exercise and the moving your body and the whole weight loss process. And this is so individualized from client to client, which I find is struggling for this podcast sometimes because I can't give you specific specifics because everybody is so different. That's why working with me, we get into the specifics. So if you are listening to this podcast and you will get great valuable information that you can use and implement, and you may see some progress, go with it. But if you find that yourself, you're stuck or you're not understanding, or you want something a little bit more customized, you need to come work with me. So because this is so individualized from client to client, that is why I can't tell you like one specific way that you're thinking about your weight loss that is causing you to gain weight. So again, you can take this and run with it, and you can absolutely try to figure it out by yourself, but why would you waste so much more of your time it's like trying to figure out how to perform surgery on yourself. You wouldn't do that. Even if it was a minor surgery, you wouldn't do that. If you've been trying the DIY approach and it's not working, it's time to reach out and work with me. Get yourself on my calendar for a discovery call. On your call, tell me why you want that ultimate goal of weight loss of the body that you want and why you think you can't have it. Getting one hour of my time is going to shine light on what you are not seeing, what's getting in your way. We will talk about working together on the call. And if you're a hell yes on the call, we are going to get started right then and right there. If you're a no, that's okay too. Just understand that what you're saying yes to, if you decide to work with me, is achieving permanent weight loss in a simple and doable manner. 
versus what you are saying no to, which is continuing to spin in frustration and doubt it will ever happen. And you keep searching and searching for some answer that is hard to find because you're not getting a, me telling you this is what's going to work for you individually and repeating the same patterns over and over again. I, I'm so like, I'm fired up right now about this because I've been there. I've been in the spin and the frustration and the doubt that it's ever going to happen and repeating the same pattern over and over again. Like, why do I keep doing this? It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be as challenging as you're making it. And I can help you. So if you're interested, book your call at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L -L at the end. And together, let's create the body that you want to live in, the life that you want to have in that body. All right. Again, that website link is shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Have a beautiful day. I hope this podcast was valuable and helpful to you. Please share it with a friend and I will talk to you soon.